Hi everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be sharing what I just bought uh, that will help me during my sketch walk and also be sharing how I pack when I go for a sketch walk. Stay tuned. Usually, these would be things that I will pack for a sketch walk. So example, um, things would be like uh, my personal belongings, a water bottle, my wallet, my personal belongings, the uh, very important hat, um, um, an umbrella in case of uh, rain. Um, next would be uh, the sketching stool. And this is the, the holder for my brushes. I would be changing this um, to another uh, brush holder because this one has um, has served quite well and the exterior is starting to flick off and creating all these like um, orangey flicks in my back so I don't like this. I have to throw this away. Um, this is the uh, the board that I make uh, made for um, you know, uh, fixing my watercolor paper on. And the rest, um, these are all my uh, tools like the uh, water the water bottle for um, for painting, uh, my paint, and all the brushes, um, pens, and pencils. And these will all go into this bag here. So I have to pack this on every sketch trip or every sketching um, you know, monthly sketch walks that I go to. When I go for a monthly sketch walk or uh, to uh, the city areas, I would be carrying three bags. So I will have a personal bag here which has my wallet and also the uh, watercolour kits will all be here the pens and the, and, and the sketchbook, small sketchbook This one will be holding um, my water bottle uh, the, the long brushes and, and my watercolour paper So I will have to carry it on the hand because I can't fit it into my, uh, my shoulder And this is the uh, sketching chair but I realised that this is not practical for India because um, in India we had to move from the city to the village and when we are sketching we had to bring everything with us um, move from spot to spot so can you imagine if I have to put all these down and then I have to pack this again so in the end I had to put all these into a big bag uh, I put everything that were on, this, on the two bags and the sketching stool into this big bag so this is actually a shopping bag that was a free gift um, when you sign up for a travel um, package with a travel agent. Um, so it can be like sort of like you know um, press and made into a small piece. Like you can compress it and make it into fit it into this um, little pouch over here. But it's just too heavy because I think it was at least uh, five kg. So I at the end of every day during the sketch trip, I had an uh, aching shoulder. Uh, and it was just generally so drained of energy because of all these things that I've carried. So um, I had to either decide that I go back to my three bags or I should find a new solution, right? So it wasn't something that I actually planned or I went to look for, uh, you know, or search in the internet. Uh, I just happened to go on shopping, um, just a normal shopping with my family uh, in uh, Metro in Singapore. And while shopping uh, at the bag section, I found a bag. This is how it looks like. So this is the bag and it comes with a frame and uh, uh, it has strollers, it has rollers at the bottom and the good thing about this bag is that it has a chair inbuilt into this um, into this trolley, into this, this whole bag system and you can also remove the bag from, from this trolley if you don't want to use it uh, as it is. It is from Swane, um, it's called Walking Bag. And it's supposed to have a 20 litre uh, space and it's just 3 kg. So this is 3 kg, alright? But you don't have to carry it, so don't worry about it. It's actually M size, if I'm not wrong. And here are the dimensions. Uh, okay, it's actually made in China, uh, but yeah, designed in Japan probably. Okay, another thing about um, this bag is that the surface um, is actually Teflon coated with a shield plus fabric protector. So it repels water, oil stain, and is durable. Instruction booklet. So let's go to the cost. So this one um, originally was $399, like $400 just for this bag. Um, but because there was a discount, like 20% off, I paid like $310. And yeah, I think it was a good deal because uh, it will save me back it and um, yeah, a lot of uh, agony walking around with three bags. Um, so let's just open it up. So the handle, you can actually fasten it to two big rings. Yeah. So I, I just hate it when you know with the with the when when the zipper are really small, so you can't really find them. So these are in big rings, so you can just pull them up. 
I'll make that. And this is the um, capacity. You can actually put a lot of things in there. There's a small pocket inside, which is quite shallow. All right. And in front, uh, there is like a, another compartment, which is quite deep. I think you can like put in like a whole arm length of stuff. And there's a, there's a very a very small side pocket inside, probably for um, cards. You know, if you go like shopping, uh, you got and you take the train or something, you can put the cards here. And the front, there are two large pockets as well. Yeah. So I got this in red. Uh, there are three colors. I, I didn't manage to get the black one. I would very much like to get the black color. The, at the bottom, there are these clips, so you can pick them off. You can just lift off this whole bag from the frame. There you go. So and you can use this. You can just carry this like a normal bag. There are no other um, attachments, so I guess it's just a hand carry bag. So to put this bag, there are actually um, little uh, slots at the top and you can slot it at the top um, of the frame and you should then clip it to the bottom yeah. uh, by going through the inside like that and you can clip it down yeah you can do it for the other side as well and your bag um, will be secured what I find is that the wheels are really smooth. For this part, you can actually, you know, just use it like a normal trolley, where you can. Um, it comes with a wide um, handle. Yeah, the handle is pretty big. Okay, and at the box, at the back, there is the chair, um, the stool. So you press on this on the ledge, pull it up, and you can pull out the bottom, and it sits down like that. So yeah, I'm gonna try sitting on this. Um, I read that it can actually hold up to like um, 80 kg. Yeah, so this is me sitting on the chair right now. Um, it has a backrest because um, I pulled up the handle and I find that it's quite sturdy and I can reach the stuff behind. So yeah, it's quite a good height. I could bend my knees, yeah, just straight knee. Um, and I, if I were to put things on the floor, I think I would be able to reach them. So yeah, like, you know. So if I have my watercolors, yeah, or my water bottle. Yeah, my water bottle, watercolor. So if I open it up. I may need to bend a little, but I, I think it's, it's acceptable. So these are my, my, my watercolors. So if I go to the set then, set them here, I, I think it's fine, you know, it's still okay. Okay, so I am going to start packing now. Yeah, this is how it looks after I finally managed to pack everything in. So I realized that the trick to this is to pack the uh, cardboard diag diagonally so that um, you know it, it usually have more space uh, diagonally. It's all ready to be tested later uh, during the sketch walk. I'm so excited to try this out. This concludes the um, uh, packing video for the new chair or new bag that I have. I will be testing this out later during the sketch walk. Uh, we have a sketch walk, uh, Urban Sketch, a Singapore sketch walk, uh, which is held every month, the last Saturday uh, on the morning. Um, but I think they decided that they want to sketch the uh, you know, Christmas lighting because they are still on at Orchard Road. So it will be from 5 to 8 pm. Uh, so I'll be trying this out later. Say, see you later. I am actually early for the sketch walk, and uh, it's 3. 30 right now. Unfortunately, it's raining. Uh, hope you will stop uh, for the sketch walk, which is at 5 o'clock. Yeah, so I'm outside. Uh, Victoria's Secret. Uh, at the corner of the uh, Mandarin Gallery. We were supposed to meet at the fountain area, um, which is outside H&M, but I don't think I will stand there. So far, I think the um, this 
it's doing well. Um, it's really easy to move around. Um, the only issue is that um, it's the, the wheels are so smooth that sometimes it would just move on its own. So I got to be really careful. I will sort of uh, settle down right now. I'm sitting in front um, on the fifth floor of the skate park, skate building. There are actually people dancing around here. Uh, and it's somewhere that I've never been before, so I think it's, it's, like, it's quite an interesting uh, discovery. Uh, in front of me, yeah, this is the scene in front of me. I am here with Jenny, <laughs> who was my uh, sketching partner from India. demonstrated just now the chair has very smooth wheels but uh, it's so smooth that if it's on an uneven surface it's gonna move so you see the chair just um, the back and the chair just moved away by itself so uh, if you have this um, you have to be really careful where you uh, leave it because if it's on unlevel ground it's gonna move so it's better that you hold it 